Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inkson, I'm from my and so today we're going to be continuing with Delta VFDL drive where we're going to set up drive in remote control using 2-wire control and 3-wire control and by any chance if you missed the last video where we commissioned the drive and run in a local run that video uh, link is going to be in the description below and also all the manuals and related videos ending I believe would benefit you in a possible way will be in the description below so without further ado, let's get started <music> Okay, so our first station is in, so it's going to look like that. So we will have a run forwards, a run reverse, we're going to have a jog, and also we have a potentiometer, and we will still have uh, one more uh, M still uh, left over. So that's pretty much station what it look like, and each stop, obviously, as always, we will remove the source for activating the IOs. So uh, when it comes down to wiring, so the ground, it is ground for the potentiometer and also to run the IOs in there, the inputs in here. So as you can see, I have two cables coming out, one going for, my, for our potentiometer. So you can see here in the back, we have a uh, three, here we go, three cables coming out and uh, uh, one of them is going into the ground as well as number one, which comes down to a, uh, uh, this east up east normally closed contact in here. From there on, it goes through the, uh, through normally closed, ignore this cable, doesn't go anywhere. From there on distributes the power through three switches. So uh, M1, M0 is going to be uh, run forwards. M1 uh, is going to be run reverse. And uh, M2 is going to be a uh, jogging. And that's pretty much what it needs to be done to get this going for comes down to wiring. When it comes down to a uh, uh, actual controls itself. So when it comes uh, from parameters. So first, first parameter, what are we going to do? Not that one. Uh, we are going to change our sources, which is going to be our source uh, for a, a frequency command. That's going to be 0 to 10 volts, which is set to 1 in here. And, uh, and obviously, a uh, uh, source for operation commands, that's going to be on uh, 1 as well for a terminal, external terminal. So that's, that's the first thing it's going to do. So basically, everything is going to be reading from here. So uh, from there on, we need to set up a uh, acceleration, the acceleration for jog and actual jog as well. And that is going to be in, uh, uh, let's do that, Let one down. That is going to, ooh, hit the wrong button again. And that's going to be a acceleration for the jog is in, ooh, in a 1, uh, 1, uh, 1, 13. And uh, 114, that's going to be acceleration to acceleration. And obviously, if you want to change drug, drug frequency, it is in that 1 15 uh, in here. And I think, believe that's standing for us at 6 hertz. So that's when it comes down to uh, that. And from there on, we need to set up our IOs. And uh, to set up IOs, you need to sort of go to the parameter group 4. Uh, I'll keep clicking the wrong ones all the time. There you go. So, parameter group 4. Why am I doing this? That one, that one. And uh, then you need to go. So the first one is a 4-4. Four -four. We need to change that one to 1, which will uh, uh, make M0 forward stop and M1 for uh, reverse stop. So that's for them two IOs in here. So uh, and let's click that one. And, and the next one you need to set up is a uh, 5, which is going to be our M0. Uh, M2, uh, which is going to be a uh, jog operation, which is at number nine. So that's it. So, and from there on, all our IOs pretty much are set up. And as you can see down here, uh, this is where the potentiometer comes in, 10 volts and I, uh, AVI. And again, depending on what switch you select there. So let me put a cover on and we'll have to see how that works. Yeah, so cover is on. So this is our station right here. So run forwards. Quite straight forwards. There you go. We should lock out. Yes, it does. And uh, run in uh, reverse. And was your jog kind of? I just want to test it. And there's your jog in here. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is our two-wire control with a jog. So next up, let's check out three-wire control. Here we are. So three-wire control is wired in. The station is going to look like that. We'll have a stop-start 
and uh, if you want to go in reverse we just click the flip the switch across and it will go in reverse and also we have our potentiometer so when it comes down to wiring so here's our potentiometer as exactly the same as uh, from the previous one the one we just looked at so the thing we can change in here so we, again we have our ground coming to our uh, e-stop going to be a e-stop ignore that that goes nowhere from there on it goes to the stop button which is our normally closed contact and when it comes through the normally closed contact the cable goes back to terminal m2 as our stop so and then m0 is going to be our start and m1 is going to be for our uh, direction in here so this is basically cables come across in here and that uh, these two are going back to draw to the drive in here as you can see down here m0 uh, is my uh, is my uh, run pretty much a start run uh, it goes into run mode and m1 it is our a uh, uh, directional uh, direction selection uh, selection switch and then m2 is our a uh, stop so uh, for it to work we need to go to parameter uh, let's do that one parameter uh, ooh, four and we need to select that to three and that stands in the manual it stands as m0 m1 and m2 will automatically will be configured to three wire operational control mode and if you want to look at the wiring diagram please do look check out in the description below in a more advanced manual uh, which where you'll be able to find out exactly how the wiring diagram works and hopefully from this video you more or less can see have this system works and it has exactly how i explained it so let me put a cover on and i'll show you how that works here we go so the cover is on so the station uh, looks uh, like a so so to start so you can see now it latches in it runs for i put the forward and reverse on here because sometimes uh, some different drives uh, works differently this guy does work only with the selector switch when it comes down for reverse in your drive so obviously you have here your potentiometer and then you obviously can reverse the drive while it is still in a run mode no problem so here we go so and then you can stop it with that or if you are in a, in a hurry you can quickly click that and uh, there by the way you because because you have another m3 in here you can have an external external uh, fault going to the drive in the event of e-stop definitely check out those ios they are still there there's quite a lot more in this drive than uh, than what we are doing obviously but the key is to get the message across so you understand the most uh, the basic functionality and how to get your head around with it so hopefully by then you know what you're doing and you will be well on your way to uh, setting up your desired application and that ladies and gentlemen will do for this drive for not for this drive will do for this video where we did a two wire control and three wire control in next video we're going to be checking out the mlp and uh motor frequency setup so do tune in for that one don't forget to smash that like if you do like the video and if you want to subscribe definitely subscribe if you like what we do here any questions any related uh, info, uh, any questions you like to ask do ask them in the description below not description the comment section below and i'll answer them as soon as as quick as, as i can and obviously as accurate as, as i can on that ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video